It is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. On yes, this I annual did. day of commemoration, the United Nations General Assembly urges everybody to honor the six million Jewish victims of the Holocaust and millions of other victims of Nazi persecution and to develop educational programs to help prevent future genocides. You know, it's very interesting when you, you know, my, my, I, my family was all here in America during the Holocaust. So we, we oh, they were. Yeah. So okay. we didn't have to escape anything. And mm -hmm. but my my both sides of my family, mother and father's side, they immigrated to the United States in the late 1800s from somewhere in Eastern Europe. And I'm not even sure where somewhere in Eastern Europe. And mm -hmm. they came for an economic opportunity. And they were given that economic opportunity by the United States, just like your family immigrated from from Ethiopia and Nigeria and, and Vanessa, your family immigrated from the Dominican Republic. And had we not, my family not immigrated, you know, you think about it, one generation, had they not been smart enough to not only think about themselves, but their future generations, because I'm sure they were thinking about their future generations. Everybody always thinks about their future generations when they immigrate. They want to bring their children here, their family here. They want to give their children and their children's children a better life. Their life. Right. Had they not done that, I wouldn't be here today. Yeah, I would never. Right. Even, I would no, never. Wow. I would never have. I, you know, my 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 grandparents probably would never have made it through the Holocaust. I wouldn't be here. There'd be no branch of life. There'd be none of this. Yeah. So it's amazing what America does, and it's amazing what when you make a decision about immigrating, how that not only affects you and your generations I moving see. forward. Legacy, yeah. 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 Everything that we do today was certainly a step forward for our, our future, you know, our kids, legacy. You know, I think about that all the time. If my great grandparents didn't immigrate, I wouldn't even be, exist. Right. Right? I wouldn't you know what's be funny? I, I legit was thinking about that. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the show Outlander, but um, it's a show where someone goes back, uh, back in time and they like see, um, they just, either their ancestors or just like back in like the 16, 1700s. And I'm like, wow, like if I could do that and just talk to my ancestors and like see how they lived, you know, and like compare it to today, it's just wild that how, you know, just it, it, it took it took one person to come to the States and like literally change our lives. If it wasn't for them, none of this would have, we would not have no show. That's we right. wouldn't be here. Yeah, it's, that's it's right. wild. That's right. And it's I always how, wonder like what our life would have been like if we if they didn't. Those decisions that you make to immigrate, to move from one place to another, not only changes your life, but it changes the rest of generation after generation after generation. Wild. You know, yeah. you know, there was one and a half million Jewish children who got killed during the Holocaust. One and a half million Jewish children. Those children wow. never got a chance to live and had their parents decided to move somewhere else. Uh, maybe they would be alive today. Maybe they would have done something very special. You don't know. Now, there's um, so many different stories during yeah, that time. This yeah. is actually one of them during history class, not because of, you know, the actual um, occurrences, but this is actually was always my favorite chapter to study in history because you, going over dictatorships and how one person could have so much power over an entire community this way that would affect so many generations to come. And Brad, you never know, there's a lot of Holocaust survivors. So maybe you guys would have been that story. You know, I'm glad that not the story that we're telling today, but y'all could have been survivors as well and lived to tell the story. That's, that's very true. And not, and not only that, we talk about as a theme, especially, you know, now that Pumpkin's gone, it's not as big of a theme, but it was always a theme of our show that authoritarian dictators who always did terrible, terrible things all got elected by in a democratic free election. Even Adolf Hitler was elected in a democratic election, and then he just never left power. And then right. look what happened. Thank God Biden won. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God the rioters didn't overtake the Capitol. Yeah. Imagine. Right. Imagine. I hadn't seen that that way. Yeah. Now, German Chancellor Angela Merkel said Wednesday that remembering the victims of the Holocaust is an everlasting responsibility of Germany. In a video message at an event organized by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, the United Nations and UNESCO to mark Holocaust Remembrance Day, Merkel said she was deeply ashamed of the atrocities committed by the Nazis. 
we must resolutely oppose both open and covert anti-Semitism, the denial as well as the relativization of the Holocaust. We must always be vigilant in order not to leave any room for anti-Semitism or racism. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.